guys, I'm Sophie and welcome to Baby Booktube. This is my first video and basically I just want to set out what Baby Booktube is and what I'm trying to achieve. I'm a Booktube lover, I love books, I love reading and I love the subsection of Booktube which is just for book lovers really and I thought well now that I have a baby I should try and get him involved. Of course he's just a baby, he's only eight months old so my idea was to do a booktube channel because I wanted to do one for myself anyway but also to have something on booktube which is more directly aimed at children and babies so why should only adults or young adults enjoy reading and they shouldn't but often it's confusing the parents to know where to start what kind of books to read what kind of books your baby might like or your older child Obviously, as I've said, I have a baby who's eight months old, so most of my current videos will be aimed at that age group onwards. And this channel, though, is really for everybody, for parents as well, uh, to try and encourage their children to enjoy reading. We've all heard of the benefits of kids reading. It's not just about their vocabulary, but it's about bonding, spending time with their parents or carers and generally having a fun time. And my little boy Jacoby, he loves reading, he gets so excited when he sees his pile of books and he likes to reach and pick one he wants and if he doesn't want that one you soon know about it. And so what I hope to achieve is to create a series of videos which will end with a read along. So I'll choose one of his current favourite books or any of his books really so you can just see for yourself what his reaction is because I think well kids can't lie so it's a pretty good gauge of what your child or the person you care for might actually enjoy. So I hope to post relatively frequently. I mean I am a new mum and I'm about to be caring for another little baby part time as well. So I can't necessarily say I'm going to post every Saturday or anything like that but what I like about booktube is the informality and you know, it doesn't have to be rigid and to be honest as parents if you're watching this you'll probably think well I probably won't get time to always watch it anyway um, and they're not going to be like consecutive so you don't have to watch previous ones to watch a future one so today's video is going to be quite short but what I'd like to show you is one of Jacoby's favourite books called what the Ladybird Heard, and this is by Julia Donaldson, who is the author of The Gruffalo, and it's got beautiful illustrations, and I can't know if you can see it, but it's a lovely scratchy bun, he goes nuts for this, he loves to scratch it, and that's really the best bet, because children do judge a book by the cover to a certain extent, and often when I'm reading with him, this is the book he wants first, so it's got all the animals down here, like that wasn't me, <laughs> which he also really liked. At first it really shocked him and he was, whoa, what's that? But now he really waits for it and he, uh, the buttons are quite flat so he can't actually press them, but he loves to be there while I'm pressing them, of course. I'm not going to press them on my own while I do that. Uh, inside, however, it's actually paper, so if you've got a younger baby, you'll have to turn the pages for them. Jacoby loves to turn the pages of all the books I have but he has learned that this one he doesn't get to turn the pages because he tried to turn the last page and it ripped but it's still okay it hasn't actually ripped out the book so as you can see there's the title there if you can see it and so it's basically about a little ladybird who doesn't actually say anything but all the other animals do and on, on this farm and these two fees want to steal the prize cow the ladybird hears their plan and foils it by getting all the other animals to work together to trick the fees and all the noises are great and it's just lovely look so you can act out all the noises with your baby or child and I don't you know what age this is for really but I mean Jacoby's eight months he loves it he doesn't obviously understand everything it's quite a long book uh, it takes a good five seven minutes to read but he will sit through it and really enjoy it so it's definitely worth getting even if you've got a younger baby and at the back if you've got older children I'll just show you there's a little farmyard fun quiz 
So it asks you about all the animals and about questions in the stories. If you've got slightly older children and need a bit more engagement, then that's quite good, I think. And it has a nice back cover as well. And he always likes to find a little ladybug. So it's a lovely book. Um, as I said, Julia Donaldson is the author of The Gruffalo, which is a really popular book. Um, I recently went to have a tour of this estate house, which is called Summer Layton House, and they had in one of their rooms uh, a lot of like uh, stuffed animals and stuff from you know bygone ages and the hunting that their family did. But there was a water buffalo foot which has been stuffed. And it's actually holding one of the doors open and one of the little boys asked if it was a gruffalo foot. And uh, that's what the tour guide told us and I thought of this book and I thought, well, it's the same author. It's the same sort of imaginative fun, really. And the illustrations are really fun and they go really nicely with the buttons. And yeah, it's a really good book. So what I am hoping to do is to read it with Jacoby here soon currently he's in bed so i'll be stitching that on at the end of this video so i'm really looking forward to that read along i hope it comes out okay on the video and i would like to say that i'm going to create a facebook page which is in conjunction with this channel so you can get updates or talk about the books that you might have read or bought from these videos and talk about them on that page or also requests you can comment down below please do subscribe because then you'll automatically get updates about what happens and yes comment below if you have any ideas whether or books you want me to try and read or any questions about whether to find books or what types of books are good and anything really you can think of and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I am quite busy as I said but obviously I will reply anyway to the read along let me just go fetch a baby Say hello. Are you, oh, you're looking at the book already. It's what the ladybird had. Open the book. Good boy. That's it. What the ladybird had. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen. A duck in a pond and a goose in a pen. A woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog. A cat that meowed and a cat that purred. A fine prize cow and a ladybird. And the cow said, Moo! And the hen said, Cluck! Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink said the hog. Ma said the sheep and woof said the dog. One cat meowed while the other one purred. And the ladybird, Miss Ladybird, said never a word. Yes, that's it. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is how we are going to steal the fine prize cow. <coughs> Open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wait the dog, left past the sheep and straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right, round and up and pass the hog. Yes, that is the cover, isn't it? Be careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep and straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow shed. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck, hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck, nay, said the horse, oint, said the hog, yeah, baa, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog, and both the cats began to meow, we can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered it into each animal ear. And we're going to stop there, aren't we? 
Why are we going to stop there? For copyright reasons. Yes, that's correct, Jacoby. You'll have to watch to find out. Well, you can't watch to find out. Still making noises, apparently. You're going to have to buy the book to find out what happens. Um, Ladybird's a good plan to stop the horrible thieves. And it's a lovely little circle story, so. Yeah, scratch the front. Yes, well done. Yes. We could go on all day. Say, bye bye, thank you for coming to my first read along. <laughs> Say, bye bye, that's a good look. <laughs>